What's up guys, 14? Because we're in Utah right now. My laptop is lacking for sure. So I, uh, trying to get it to just turn back on so we can see what's going on. Let's see if we can see who dropped the, the donation though. Got mad chats going on right now, dude. Osvaldo with the $5 super chat, dude. Thank you so much, man. I know it's early, but I'll be driving to Denver. So from the Springs, dude, drive safe. That drive is rough. But dude, the heli ski videos were dope. Definitely must do on my list. Let's go, bro. That was so insane. All right, so this goofy looking dude next to me is Michael <laughs> the guy. Ski Doctor. Uh, <laughs> and he is here with me in Utah helping me make videos, which is so sick. And um, Michael's bored. Yeah, I'm <laughs> bored. So if you all want your stuff tuned, you're out in Salt Lake, I can come to your house, your car, wherever you are, and uh, tune your gear up. Other than that, I'm just having a good time. My boy Jonathan is just filming. Went, we went to Brighton today. Brighton was, which is sick. That at first we were, I was like, this is kind of small. We went to the park, and like, meh. But then we like rode the mountain, and we were like, dude, this place is sick. But yeah, so Michael and I were in Salt Lake City, and Michael doesn't have a family like I do, and he wants to work. So if you have skis, snowboards, need a wax, need a full tune, whatever you need, Michael can do it. So uh, hit him up. I, all of his information is gonna be in the description. I say gonna because my computer is literally not working at all. <laughs> and so it's a big reason why I'm not really talking on the chat just yet. Um, because I don't wanna be reaching over like I did to see who dropped the dono, which was um, so sick to Osvaldo for dropping the super chat. Guys, if you do drop a super chat, I answer those correct questions immediately. Um, and we are probably we're definitely behind the chat because I this ain't working. That. Yeah. Is that how do you like. Oh, you got to like touch where the talking is and then you can scroll this way. So, um, so yeah, so we got Breezy, Drew, Tommy's here, ISO, RS, RX, Fly Fishing is here. Everybody, I'm going to try and get this to work. But yeah, so we, we went to Brighton and then tomorrow we're going to go to Snowbird. Yeah, Snowbird. Which is a, it's a lot bigger. It's, it's incredible how close these resorts are to like the big town. It's like if Denver was only 30 minutes away. That sounds terrifying because <laughs> i like that they're four four hours away on a good snow day <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> uh when i watch jonathan uh i see a younger torsine horg mode dude that's pretty cool torsine is my dude so i'm stoked that you you like the content i wish i wrote as good as torstein that dude is on another level we're at because i'm going to park city tomorrow oh dude we're not going to park city he only has the Keystone base, so we can only ride Keystone with Michael, but he has Icon, so we're going to all Icon Mountains, not all of them, we're going to a lot of Icon Mountains. And we got another super chat, just because, Sean, dude, thank you so much, Sean Roman, which if you don't, can't tell, Roman's, we're in a hotel room, Roman's on the bed that's right over there, so uh, there'll be a little dude in the background, he might come and say what's up, but uh, we're, we're just making this happen, and then, um, yeah, like, it, literally, so the way it works is my wife goes, hey, you should book a, I was like, I, I was talking to Telus Snowboards. I'm meeting with them. I'm meeting up with Telus Snowboards on on Tuesday at Winter Park to like talk about a sponsorship. And uh, so I tell Bobby that. She goes, that's cool. That means if we leave tonight, we can come back on Monday from Park City. And I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, but get a hotel in Salt Lake. Let's do this. So I was like, what? Okay. And so I called. Yeah, you hits me up. Benton and I hit yeah, Michael. He goes, I got nothing going on. Let's do this. Yeah. He's like, as long as I can get a job or two, like I can totally come out. So we got one job. Other people in Park City, or Salt Lake, sorry, Salt Lake City. Hit up the boy. Let's get this going. Sorry, guys. I'm really bummed my computer's not working. All right, so we got Aaron right now with the $5 super chat, bro. Thank you so much. He says, I've been in New York City the past three days, headed to Mount Snow tomorrow. So stoked. Dude, I can't wait to meet up with you. Stoked that you're already out there getting the, getting the going. So that Aaron guy right there is who is going to help me film in Park, or in, in Vermont, which oh, is nice. so sick. We'll be at Mount Snow February 9th through the 12th. And if you want to come ride with me on the 12th on Mount Snow, uh, we're doing like a group shred. Everyone show up and rip. Everyone on the East Coast is going to be fun. And then Engine, dude, thank you so much for the $2. How do you put your profile in your base? How do you put a profile in your base? Oh, how do you put a profile in your base of like your snowboard? Oh, like a base structure? I would think so. That's, yeah, that's so your question actually, for you. Yeah, yeah. I actually don't do base structure. That's something you only might need um, for like an athlete a couple times a year, things like that. So I just do things by hand. just like hot waxes, sharpen the edges, fill in any gouges, but I do not do the structure. 
Here we go. Good, good question. And then Osvaldo, or Oliver, sorry, with the $2, dude, thank you so much. Flying from Australia, or Austria, uh, in two hours, hit the slopes. Let's go, dude. Stoked that you're gonna be hitting the slopes. I, uh, Austria, where are you, where are you flying to, uh, to go ride? Are you coming to the United States? Are you gonna be riding up out in Europe? Let me know, man. Getting the public opinion board out by Bradshaw. Oh, nice, dude. I've, I've never, um, I don't know much about that board at all, but dude, stoked that you're gonna be on a new board. That's like the coolest feeling in the world. When you got a brand new snowboard and you're gonna go out and rip it. it that's so sick. Michael and JB love, love to, to see, see the boys, boys live. live. Yeah, dude, we yeah. Got, we're, we're in awesome. Utah together. He came out to help uh, film. At Brian, did you hit up Millie? Yeah, we did. And there's rocks. That's the one with all the rocks oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah, that yeah, was fun. That you're like, I couldn't stop jumping off the stuff. My back kind of hurts from a bunch of flat landings. <laughs> so we were just jumping off as much as we could. I almost got the laptop up, running, up and running, guys. It's uh, slow moving. Computer fun. <laughs> but did you say computer fun? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the donut train for uh, computers, <laughs> what Bobby said. She cracks I me up. I Yeah, I'm like, I always like, I tell Bobby, I'm like, we're traveling a bunch, I gotta get a laptop. And she goes, and I need a house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, that, what was the name of that run then we did with all the rocks? My, Miley? Is was it Miley? I don't know. We, we did the one under the chairlift a bunch. It was like the crazy jump. Michael did a three off of it. Kids were trying to backflip, which was cool to see. No, it was not a good jump. <laughs> it was just like straight. It was just out. straight. I was like, yeah, everyone was trying to backflip it. It's 2 a.m. We're at my place. Dude, Tech, you're staying up late, dude, for the live stream. Oliver said, flying to Germany from Manchester, getting the coach to uh, Austria. Heck yeah, Oliver, that's so sick, dude. Flying from Germany. All right, do you think you'll come to Highland Hills? Drew, I will definitely be going to Highland. Um, Elastic Adventures. What's up, man? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what's up, Ski Dog? I couldn't read the name. Uh, we'll be able to read everything in a second. Um, yeah, we'll be riding Highlands in Minnesota for sure, and Strollhagen for sure. I think Afton Alps is what we're going to be riding in Minnesota as well. And uh, that's me and Benton. The ski doc will be in Colorado. This is the one trip I found I was able to get him to go on. I've invited him to all of them, but he, his business, he's got he's to work. You know what I'm saying? How long have you been snowboarding for? Moo said. So I, I personally have been snowboarding, I say 10 years. I went when I was 11, but I would go like, once every two years, I could barely with snowboards. I didn't like snowboard. I, I kind of understood how to do it. And then I moved up here after high school and I've been snowboarding ever since is a hundred days plus a season. What about you? Yeah, it's kind of the same. Like I didn't, I guess didn't have the money to go when I was like 12, 13, even though I just started, which is really fun. But when I hit like 17, 18, started working and Rowan, did my thing, was able to rip a lot more and ended up taking me here. Yeah. <laughs> To, to John the Buckhouse Vlogs. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, to here. <laughs> you gonna come up here? Oh, the little dude. Mom might take him to Target. Um, all right, we almost got the chat. Like, literally, the computer is almost up and running, guys. And then the chat will get a lot smoother. The ninth. No. What are you doing? What are you doing? It's our game. What? Oh. There it is. Somebody asked you. The, the Bucks and the Nuggets tonight, so I was like, Ooh, our game. And then no. our game is the ninth of March. Oh. Yeah, so so wait, so they play tonight? Yeah, they play tonight. And then okay, yeah, so the, the Bucks and the Nuggets play tonight, and we, me and Bobby bought tickets to go play, and whoever asked that question, you scared the crap out of her. She was like, oh, we missed our game, but um, we're going in March, I think. Molly is the lift across the parking lot from the main lodge. Yeah, we had the walk over there. Ooh. Yeah. Um, dude, Shane, thank you so much for the two dollars super chat, bro. He said, John the Buckhouse snowboard tour, yeah, man, dude. The tour, come on, there we go. The tour is just beginning, like, so in February, we will be in a different state every week. So, right now, or tomorrow will be the first week of February, we're in Utah. Then the next week we're in Vermont. Then the week after that we're in Tahoe. Then the week after that we're in Minnesota slash Wisconsin. And then when we come back, we go to Aspen Snowmass. So it's just boom, boom, boom. Like we're traveling. One guy for asked sure. about the house 
different is the snow between Colorado and here? Oh, you this snow's not too different. The biggest thing it's thicker. Here. It's it's thicker, yeah, and it's heavier. Um, and they definitely get a little bit more in a single snowstorm than we get. So you'll get heavier powder days for sure. Like Colorado's got this super light, fluffy snowfalls. Um, where most pla other places, when it when it's powder, it tends to be a little heavier sometimes. Well, I gotta get going, man. Gotta oh yeah, Ski Doc's gotta go tune some gear and drink some beer and <laughs> <laughs> something. Hey, so. good seeing y'all. Yeah, so hit up the Ski Doc. His information's in the description. Um, not yet. I'll I'll get that up after this live stream. But I mean, we've shared his information. Hardcore. Follow his Instagram at or at the underscore ski, ski underscore, underscore doctor. doctor. So hit him up, and then we're gonna finish this live stream like a like a boss. So see you, Michael. All right, Elstag with a two dollar super chat said MacBook Pro fun, dude. I appreciate it. I know you're looking for a computer too. You're writing me about it. So Elstagger, I appreciate the two dollars. Did Bobby get her coffee, Engen? Bobby has not gotten her coffee. Ah. You didn't even bring me coffee. Daddy. Roman. Bye. So Bobby did not get her coffee. And then... We'll be here if you did. Cole said, are you doing a meetup in Utah? I'm not doing a meetup, but if you guys have the option, we'll be at Snowbird tomorrow. And any of you guys are welcome to come say what's up, take some laps. So we'll be at Snowbird on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And we'll be ripping around. Tech said, have you ever skied? I've never skied. We're trying we're talking about making that video. We just haven't made it yet. Whole Jolly said, just join the chat. Can't wait to see uh, a Utah video. Enjoy the great snow on or the greatest snow on earth. Heck yeah, dude. Utah's a definitely a different place. It's really cool. I love that the big city, like Salt Lake City, is so close to mountains. Like 40 minutes to most resorts. Like that's crazy. I, Denver is kind of that way, but the traffic is so bad. But like driving to Brighton, it's just a two lane street. And like it was a super smooth drive. Everything was super easy. So um, really stoked to be in Utah. Really stoked to not be riding Park City, even though Park City is so sick. Like Park City Canyons is like a really awesome place. But I'm riding new resorts. Like I've never been to Brighton, Brighton before. And I always wanted to. I knew they'd build a pretty solid park and it looked like a fun mountain. Um, and then you have. Uh, what's it called? Snowbird is going to be really fun tomorrow. I don't think they even have a train park, but uh, it looks like a ton of lifts. And if anything, if it's like anything today, the train we rode today was gnarly. So it'd be fun. Roman is the boss, dude. Sean, he, no joke. He is the boss. He's running. He had a before dinner. We went and got Red Robin before this because we had a gift card. And that dude had a meltdown and was not very nice. And we're like, what do we do? He's never done this. He's never had an in-public meltdown like this. It was pretty rough. Um, but he's pulling it together. He So Shadow is here, my dog. He's right here. Here's Shadow. You guys don't remember Shadow. Shadow came with us. And uh, Roman wants Shadow to go everywhere. And so if we, we leave Shadow in the hotel room, Roman loses it. So Let's go for a walk. Just, walk. Just watch the Ski Patrol video. Ski Patrol sucks. <laughs> oh, Tyler, that's funny. Yeah, that was a whole messy situation, but we got 10,000 new subscribers because of it, and the channel has done great, so we'll take it. It's a big reason why we're here in Utah. Like, um, We took some of that money that came in from those videos and uh, put it into coming out here for you guys because I, I want to bring you guys content from all over. We want to try to do our best, and... The way it works too is like I, I have a family like as you saw I have a son I have a wife I have a dog um, and so sometimes to make these snowboard trips possible I gotta pack the whole family up in a car and we just gotta go and it's so funny that my wife is the reason why we're here she made the decision of like yo I think we could do this trip right if we leave today and I'm like uh okay we'll figure it out and we did here we are it's been so fun so far Dude, Russ with the $5 super chat, bro. Thank you so much. Roman's about to leave the room, by the way, you guys, so that little dude in the background be chatting too much. Ice Coast uh, Medical Bill Fund for you coming out here. And I'm an Ice Coast MA, so I know what you're in for. <laughs> well, I'm ready for the Ice Coast. I don't, do not want to use the $5 medical fund you sent me. Maybe we'll use some ibuprofen or something. But I, I'm so excited to ride Vermont, um, Mount Snow, uh, 
Casey Willax has posted, obviously, I mean, that's his home mountain. He's posted some sick videos there, and that park looks insane. So I want to get there, ride it, have some fun. Come to Europe, no yellow jackets. NGen, you're not wrong, dude. That'd be a ton of fun and a really cool trip. We'll get to Europe eventually. We're going to try to ride everywhere in the world, um, every resort possible. I love going to new, new resorts. It's one of the most fun things in the world. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Cream City said it's Ski Patrol. Or no, the so we with Keystone they have Ski Patrol and they have Yellow Jackets. They're two different. Um, Nick said, can you talk about your backslash, dude? Yeah, I'm gonna make a review video on that board. The um, the Telus backslash is incredible. That snowboard, you you charge on it like. Fresh snow, not choppy snow, whatever. Like the Telus backslash attacks nonstop, and you can drop big things. And it's a camber snowboard, so landing's really easy on it. Um, it's stiff, but you're adding powder, so it, like the stiffness actually is kind of nice. Like I really, 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 really like the backslash, and I've been riding the Capita Slush Slasher, which is like a very popular powder board, and I like the backslash more than I like the Slush Slasher. It's incredible. It like goes through stuff. It, it charges. I'm gonna make a review video on it. I'm just, once again, I'm meeting up with Telus on Tuesday. We're gonna talk about a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be a good time. Cruising with positive vibes, dude. That's a sick name. Uh, man, I got to show you the ropes in Aspen. Dude, I'll, I would love to. So Aspen Snowmass wants me to come out and they want me to ride their terrain park and make terrain park videos, which I'm not complaining. And um, so we'll, we'll make that happen. That'll be a ton of fun. But I did tell them that one day I'd want to explore the mountain and make a video too. So, uh, Inland Surfer, I live in Salt Lake City. Heck yeah, dude. Hit up Snowbird tomorrow and look for you. Dude, I'll be at Snowbird tomorrow. So yeah, dude, let's, dude, let's link up for at least a lap, dude. That'd be a ton of fun. You've been a, such a long time supporter of the channel. It'd be so sick to say what's up. Also, if... Um, you need a tune. Michael, the ski doctor is in town with me and he can tune you up nice and tight. Anyone in Salt Lake City that needs their board or skis tuned, waxed, whatever, Michael's here. Give the boy a call. His information will be in the description after the live stream. I can't edit it uh, right now and I couldn't edit it prior. So, How is life as a snowboard or how is life as a snowboarder? It's, dude, it's awesome. I'm not, I, in no way, I have nothing to complain about. Snowboarding every day is incredible. Except for when you like when you snowboard literally every single day, your body gets kind of tired. So I do try to take days off. So yesterday was technically a day off. I drove here, so like we ne I didn't snowboard at all, and that was my first day off. Oh, well, that was like prior to that. I when I when we drove from Telluride back, that was kind of like my first day off in a very long time. I went like three weeks without a day off. So your body just takes a toll. Like as I sit here in this position, my back is kind of sore. Like I said, I was jumping off a bunch of rocks and stuff. So as long as you keep your body in physically like good shape and you get definitely get like used to, like, your body gets used to snowboarding. So it's definitely sick. Like I'm so thankful I get to do this as a kid when I was like, when I grow up, I want to be a snowboarder. It's what I've always wanted to do. So uh, I'm really blessed and thankful that because of you guys, I get to do this. Uh, and it makes it to where making a daily video for you is like fine. Like it's like, that's my job. I make a video for you guys, and in return, I get to snowboard every day, and that's what I want to do. So, uh, I'm stoked. That was a good question. <clears throat> Posey said, uh, to the top of the tram and start hiking. Oh, at Snowbird? I have no backcountry stuff with me, so I, I know at, uh, at Brighton, like, there's a ton of backcountry stuff that was so fresh and open and looked like it would be so sick to hit. However, we, we didn't have float bags, we didn't have um, shovel, pro, we didn't have beacons, nothing. So, like, no backup issue for us. Uh, Xavier said, will you hit up Killington or only Mount Snow? Only Mount Snow uh, is the plan for the trip. I don't, I'd have to see where Killington is um, to Mount Snow, but me and Aaron were just planning riding um, Mount Snow. Dude, Red Robin is dope. We I, we don't eat out like that unless like we're on these trips. It's hard. Like we do kind of have a kitchen, but we're only gonna be here for such a short period of time. If we bought anything to really make here, uh, it would just wouldn't work out. This was such a last second decision, by the way. Bobby's just like, I think it'd be really cool if you're in a different state 
every week this month. And I was like, yeah, that's really cool. Let's do it. Uh, Jack said, what bo board for, for Snowbird? I'll be riding my Telus Chillum, which is like my park snowboard, which is fine. Like I can rip that snowboard in anything. Um, obviously powder boards help. Uh, I have I have no idea what Snowbird looks like train wise, anything like that. I've never even looked up this resort other than when I was like, what resorts are in on the Icon Pass in YouTube or in Utah and Snowbird showed up and um, I did see a photo of like Snowbird. I, I think they do heli riding in Snowbird. They they do a lot. I know it's like a big mountain type area, so it's gonna be fun. I, and I heard they don't have a park, so which is fine. Okay, Jolly said, Snowboard has a small park, but don't go to the board bird for their park. Find the pal lines. All right, Jolly. That's what that's what we'll do. We definitely might take a lap through the park. You know us. We like to do that. Tech said, I've been skiing since I was like 2.5 years old, but I would like to go snowboarding once, but my parents won't let me. Tech, dude, don't worry. I don't know how old you are now, but once you become an adult, your parents can't stop you from doing anything. That sounds terrible, but no joke. Like you, when you're 18, you're out of the house. Let me rephrase. When you move out of your parents' house and they're not paying for any of your stuff, you can do anything. If you're still taking money from your parents, they kind of still got the control. Which is fair. Like if your parents are paying your rent, if they're paying your phone bill, you got to listen to them still. Dude, Brian does have a great park. I was struggling with their jumps, to their bigger jump line. I did hit all three of them, but um, they're just different. Dude, I'm behind in the chat. So just so you guys know, I, I fall behind in the chat hard. Um, and when I do, if you drop a super chat, I'll go right to it and answer it. Somehow I missed Austin's super chat. Dude, Austin B with the $2 super chat, bro. Thank you so much. Take Roman to Clark Plan Plan Plantarium. It's free too. What? I'll let, the, I'll let my wife know about that. We're taking Roman, so on Monday we're going to go to the aquarium that's in Salt Lake City. Um, and then we're going to drive home. So we're riding tomorrow, which is Saturday. We're riding Sunday. Monday morning we're going to go to the aquarium. And then when we're done with the aquarium, we're driving back to Colorado. And then on Tuesday I'll be riding Winter Park. But, dude, thank you, for, Austin. Thank you, one for the super chat, dude. You're so sick. And then... Uh, thank you for sharing that with us. I will let Bobby know and maybe she can take him tomorrow when we're in Snowbird. All right, I definitely lost my spot in the white chat. So if I missed your question or your comment or your, anything like that, um, hey, Jeffrey, um, drop it again and I'll do my best to answer it because I want to answer everybody's questions. Do, 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 do. Oh, I went a little too far back. Sorry. Ski said, where in Utah are you going to be riding? So snow, we're doing, definitely doing Snowbird tomorrow. And then we might do Solitude, which is right, literally right next to Brighton. We didn't know that. We might do Solitude on, on Sunday. Michael might leave Sunday morning and not ride. So it will be riding by myself on Sunday. So if anyone wants to help film, possibly... You have to be a solid rider, by the way. If you can't like do double blacks or you can't ride in the train park, um, I'm not gonna say don't volunteer, but like you know what I'm saying. Like we, we ride pretty hard, so just know if you you do think you can come help film on Sunday, if Michael can't show up and film, um, it'd be sick. I'd love to ride with you guys, and obviously anyone that can hold a camera and film like that helps the channel. But I would probably do if he bails, I'd probably do solitude in the morning and then um, head over to. Uh, Brighton and ride some park and do both in one day. That'd be fun. They're so close to each other. Dude, Keith said, Bobby is the best. You're a lucky dude. Dude, I'm pretty lucky. She's awesome. I do I do my best to, to make her happy. And, and um, sometimes I struggle and I mess up and I too, snowboard too many days in a row and stuff like that. And we... Like any couple, we have our, our issues, or issues, not, I don't even want to say issues, like we have things that, we have our fights, we have our stuff, everything like that, but overall, like she lets me snowboard every single day. She let me quit my job to pursue this channel and it's working out, and so um, she's an awesome, she's awesome for sure. I'm lucky to have her. You guys are lucky to have her too, because uh, it would be hard to make YouTube videos without, without her letting me go do all this. 
Evan said, yo, 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 finally hit jump one at Breck. Such a fire park right now. Dude, Evan, let's go. Dude, Breck's park is super fire right now. I can't wait to get back. Um, that isn't looking dope. You have fun ripping. Dude, I'm jealous you're hitting Breck's jumps. They're so prime. Will the ski dock come to Wisconsin with you? No, the ski dock will not be coming to my to Wisconsin, which sucks because he has an electronic edge sharpener and if it's as icy as everyone says in those places, uh, I'll need those edges. Should I sharpen my edges before heading to Vermont or should I just risk it? My edges aren't that dull, but let me know. And are we making the right decision by going to Snowbird tomorrow? Is that like, is that busy on a Saturday or are we going to be good? Is it, um, what time should we leave? Should we leave early? Like we're thinking about leaving at, so we're in Salt Lake City. We're thinking about leaving at um, 6.30 in the morning, by the way, to get, no, 7.30. We're talking about leaving at 7.30 in the morning to get to the mountain. Is that like a fair time to leave to get to the mountain? Let me know down below, guys. The Christoph said, how was the riding the first week of April, last week of March in Colorado? Dude, I don't remember, to be honest. Uh, if I had to tell you, I would say the riding was super sick because I love any condition and just being on my snowboard. Uh, but normally that's the kind of like the end of March, early April. It all depends on whether we're getting snow or not. Normally, I don't ride, go out to the mountain till like 10 a.m., 11 a.m. during those months because the snow's a little hard in the morning and then it softens up and it's then it's super sick slushy riding. I love slush riding. So if you don't like riding in the slush, then I'd try to move your trip a little earlier. Tech said, I live in the Netherlands, but I've never, or, but I go skiing in Austria in Italy a lot. Dude, that's so sick. I can't wait to go to Europe and like snowboard and kind of understand more. Does that make sense? I never left the United States, so I'm definitely ignorant when it comes to world everything. And so that's one thing with this channel I'm really excited about is eventually all the opportunity to, opportunities it's gonna present to travel the world, to learn more about um, everywhere uh, and not just, you know what I'm saying, just ride the United States. However, there's still so much to ride in the United States. And that's a big reason why I want to go to the East Coast. That's why I want to go um, check out the Midwest. Um, I think that's what you call Minnesota and Wisconsin. Um, but like, that's why we went heliboarding in Silverton. Like that's in Colorado. Like it's really hard to go to another country to snowboard when I haven't even snowboarded everything in Colorado. So uh, we're knocking them out for sure. Shrunken said, yo, I've been shredding copper and my parents hate the traffic. Uh, anyway, I've been uh, skating a bit too and I'm comfortable on the board because of snowboarding. Front shifties are getting clean. Let's go, dude. And I bet your parents hate the traffic. Dude, Denver traffic is insane for sure. So uh, uh, luckily your parents are driving and you get to chill. But dude, that's so sick that you're getting into snowboarding and getting into skating. Like, sorry, I have you I used to really love skateboarding and then I almost destroyed, or I did destroy my left knee um, skateboarding. I like came off a handrail. Um, it was an urban on handrail. I came off of it and one of my, my lead knee, which is my left one, stayed on the skateboard and my leg planted and I, I like did that split thing and my, dude, I jacked my knee up so hard. And after that, I was just like, I'm kind of like cool with skating. Like, I don't want to mess up my snowboarding. And so, and then I never, I've never gotten better um, since I've actually gotten worse at skating since then. Texas Pete said, Advil tonight, Advil tomorrow. I'm so excited for you. Let me know when you want a full time cameraman. Dude, I want a full time cameraman right now, Texas Pete. We, we need one for, for sure. The biggest thing is I obviously I can't I can't pay anybody right now. I'm just figuring out how to, to pay my bills um, with this YouTube thing. But that's that's eventually what we're gonna do is like get a full-time cameraman slash editor and then I can take 
my attention that goes into that, my five hours a day, and we can, I can start focusing that into other aspects of growing this into a bigger company. Do we got a super chat $10 from Cream City Skating or Skiing? Dude, thank you so much for the $10 dono. Do we get, they're coming in hot right now. Uh, change the username from Raptor69 to this. Also would love to come to Granite Peak in W uh, in Wisconsin for a big resort or for the biggest resort or little switz for some awesome park. Uh, you already got the stickers. Dude, uh, Raptor69 slash Cream City Skiing. Dude, I got a package in the mail for you. I don't have it with me. I was going to talk about it on the live stream. Dude sent me a signed Jordy Nelson uh, football card. Like, come on, that's so sick. And the decal on the side of the Green Bay Packers helmet, which I'm so thankful for, bro. You're such a, you're so sick. And I got something coming in the mail for you, dude. If you guys ever want to send me anything, like a cool like handwritten note, something you drew, just a gift or anything, my PO box is always linked in the description. Not in this video yet. I'll get the whole description posted in there. I got, my computer was having a meltdown prior to this live stream. It took 30 minutes to make my thumbnail, which should have took me three minutes to make my thumbnail. Uh, I was losing it. Um, but dude, thank you so much for the gift, dude. You're so awesome. I appreciate it. I will do my best to try and go to Granite Peak and um, what was it? Or the little switch for the park. Heck yeah. And Trollhagen for the park. And then also follow with the $10 super chat, bro. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I'm excited to ride Steamboat tomorrow. Any tips? runs, park, etc. Yeah, Osvaldo, start with the gondola. So the way the way I think you should do it, or the way I like to do it, um, it because like if you're not gonna go straight to the park, go up the gondola. When you come out of the gondola, down to the right is a cat track. If you take that, it kind of takes you to like a side, like a back side of the resort. On a powder day, it's not a bad place to start. And then on a powder day, you can drop um, like the Christmas shoots and get to some steeper terrain slash is it the sh Christmas shoots or you, you could drop the backs it's like a little bowl you can drop it and you get start making your way to like the more extreme side of uh, Steamboat um, watch out for the cat tracks though they're kind of all over the place and then um, way the dude I don't know what that um, I don't know what that says man but I just want you to know I see your your message and thanks for jumping on the live stream, bro. Boop, 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 boop. Simon said, I'll be your full-time man. Dude, does anyone live in Summit County that wants to travel the United States with me slash the world and film and, like, benefit from the channel? Because that would be sick. Like, that's what we're looking for. It's one of those things where it would be so, like, gimbal god and stall. Like, we need our gimbal god. So, uh... The biggest thing is the content's got it comes out daily, so we film. I we put the video out the next day. However, right now we're super ahead, so the video that's posting tomorrow is still in Telluride. Believe it or not, um, I hope you guys like the sh the shoots video from Michael the Ski Doctor. He rode the S shoot on the Sky shoots, and um, it was a really cool video, really cool story. I wanted to share that for him because he doesn't have a platform like I do to share it, and he did it, and it was really cool. So. Um, yeah, so we posted that video. So the videos are kind of all over the place. The timelines are kind of all messed up, but traveling is traveling is difficult. Traveling and editing is difficult. Traveling and editing on an old school laptop that hates your life, like, is hard. But we're, we're, we're making it happen for sure, guys. We're grinding. And Jen said, rent, rent a board with some, some uh, grip tech in it. For when I go to the Ice Coast, which we're going to Vermont, the 9th through the 12th. And if you want to ride with me at Mount Snow uh, in Vermont, the 12th, come say what's up. Austin said, going to be busy everywhere tomorrow. Traffic up the canyon is rough. Okay, Austin B, good to know. So we're trying to leave early and we're already expecting it to be busy. We're going to go to Snowbird. We're going to have fun. And uh, Austin, thank you for sharing, dude. That I don't know. It is Snowbird up the canyon as well? I don't. I, I don't know, honestly. I feel like what we drove up today was different than the way we would go to Park City. And uh, um, yeah, I have no idea where Snowbird is. 
Either way, it's gonna be sick. I'm so excited. And the and the best part is if we're sitting in traffic, I'm sitting in traffic with a ski doc and we can talk and it's gonna be fun. Getting to the mountain at 11 a.m. was fun. Still got tons of days out of it. Dude, ski TNB, dude, let's go. All right, I'm trying to find, I'm gonna try and jump to the, behind the last Super Chats, guys. So if I missed your question or anything like that, um, just drop it again and we'll get to it. I think Bobby and Roman went to, um, to Target, so we got some time. Adam says, what is the best park board? I would say the best park board is the board you're riding in the park. Nah, that's, that's a, <clears throat> it's hard because there's not a right answer. I haven't ridden every single board out, out there in the world. So I don't know what is the best park board to ride. Um, but I know the park boards that I really liked. I really liked the, for entry level park, the K2 Worldwide Weapon. I rode that for years. That's a great entry level park board. Um, the Marhar, um, the Marhar Archaic is a really good park board. I rode that the last couple years in the park. And then I'm currently on the Telish Chillum, which is a stiffer board if you really, really like jumps. Um, I mean, you can, I, I rides rails really well too, but I'm on the Telish Chillum right now for my park board. So, uh, it doesn't matter too much as long as it's not directional, as long as it's not, um, like super duper stiff, like most boards will work in the park, man. A lot of it comes down to the rider. So, and like what you prefer, like, do you want a really soft board in the park? Do you want a really stiff board in the park? Are you trying to hit rails only? Are you trying to only hit jumps? Like a lot of that comes into play. Are you trying to ride half pipe? So check all of that out and see what you got. Melissa's never been to Steamboat. We got to get her out to Steamboat ASAP, especially on a powder day, Melissa. It'll blow your mind. It's so sick. Edward said, "Are you gonna go to Maine? Uh, are you gonna be, are you going? Are you going to be in Maine snowboarding? Not at least this year. There's no plan for that. And what I'm noticing is like the season's only so long. There's only so much of the good time to travel and snowboard. Makes uh, trips to certain places kind of hard. So we shortened our Tahoe trip by one day. That gave me some more space to get out to Minnesota slash Wisconsin." Cream City Skating said, do you know how many stamps to put on? So I just put them all. <laughs> you did put a ton of stamps on the package, man. That's so funny. Um, no, so if I have to ship a package, I don't know how much it's going to cost. I'll just go into the office and have the people weigh in and everything. Jeffrey said, how do I get better at school, school threes? at school threes? How do I get better at school threes? Are you saying how to get better at school or are you saying how to get better at 360s? Because um, both of them are just practice. If you want to get better at frontside 360s, I have a how to frontside 360 video on my channel, so check it out. Trevor said, what aspect of park that's such a loaded question? Oh. He's talking about the what park board. Simon said, I got two Karmas and a ton of other stuff. Dude, let's go. So I've been using the car. I use the Karma Grip a bunch prior to getting the GoPro Max. And that thing is incredible. I need to make a Max versus the Karma Grip video because the Max is amazing. Everyone was like, how'd you get such sick heli footage? It's like, dude, I use the GoPro Max and it's amazing. Jeremy said, dude, my autocorrection is insane, but I said, how do I get better at my 360s? Okay. <laughs> so, uh, honestly, repetition. Try to do a bunch of them flat ground. If you can do a 360 on the flat ground slash off a side hit, then doing it off a jump gets a lot easier. When you're hitting a bigger jump, the biggest thing with 360s is your setup turns. You don't want to overcomplicate it, and you also don't want to not set yourself up to, for success. So if you're gonna be, do, I, I like to do a three turn system, two turn system. So if you're spinning front side, you're gonna drop in on your, cause you're popping off your heels. So you're gonna drop in on your heels. So you drop in on your heels. In the bottom half of the jump, you go to your toes. 
as you go up the lip, you transition to your heels. Now you're on your heels and you initiate your spin. So I'm gonna spin backside. That's a toe side spin. So I'm gonna drop in on my toes. Drop in on my toes. Once it gets to the flat, I go to my heels. As I start going up the wedge, I go back to my toes and then I pop off my toes. So try that, see if that helps your 360s. A lot of people, they lose the trick in their approach. So um, it's like me, my front boards. My front boards are getting better because my approach to the rail is getting better. And that's a big thing Tommy talked to me about was having a better approach when I'm trying to do my front boards. So there's a lot of little things that can mess up a trick. A lot of the time it's not you actually throwing the trick, it's just you getting ready to throw the trick. All right, I had a question and I lost it. Way to go. There you go. Posey said, I like the videos from the wa or from the Max without the stick. Yeah, or that wasn't from the Max, that was from the Insta360, which uh, my bag is over there. I have the newest uh, Insta360 camera. I'm gonna try and take that out probably tomorrow. That could make some really cool videos. So we'll see how it's gonna look. Dude, Shion is here, and Shion was not only ripping the park, Shion was hitting the super pipe the other day. Let's go, Shion. Killing it, bro. Casey said, first time in Colorado at Breck last week. Let's go. How was it? You have a sick time? And the first time on Imperial Ridge was three feet of visibility. Talk about scary. Dude, I know what you're talking about. No joke, and it is scary. Sometimes you'll go up on Imperial, and you're like, I can't see my hand. It's so, it gets so gnarly up there. Stoked that you did go up there though. And Joe, dude, yeah, we're gonna be at Snowbird. If you're in town and you need a tune, if you're in Salt Lake City, you need your boards tuned, edge sharpened, like hot wax, anything like that, hit up Michael the Ski Doctor. He's in town and he wants to tune your guys' gear up. So let's, let's support the dude that came out here to help film these videos for me um, by, by getting some, some tunes. Or, when he gets back into Colorado, guys, call him up like crazy and say thank you for coming out and helping us make sick videos in Utah. Uh, Jonathan, dude, sick name, said, I'm going to be at Copper for the Dew Tour next Friday. I wish you were going to be there. I will be at the Dew Tour the 6th, 7th, and 8th. I will not be there the 9th. I have a media pass. I can roam around pretty much anywhere uh, for the Dew Tour, which I'm excited for. I've never had a media pass to anything, uh, so I'm excited to see what content I can create what, that's different than the normal. I'm excited to see what pros we can run into, and overall, it's going to be sick. Uh, Inland Service said, there are two canyons, Brighton Solitude up one, Alta Snowboard up the other. Good to know. Okay, because we can go to Alta too. We can go either one. So out of Alta and Snowbird... Which one is better? I think Snowbird's bigger, right? Correct? And then Brighton and Solitude, we they're like literally right next to each other. It's so, dude, I, I'm learning more about uh, Utah and like the snowboarding and everything being close to Salt Lake City. It's so sick. But yeah, so what's better, Alta or Snowbird? Please comment down below so I can know. And then Roman and Bobby Fun. Dude, uh, Sean, dude, thank you so much for the $5 super chat for the family. I appreciate that so much, man. Uh, we'll definitely be taking Roman to the aquarium up here and having him have a great time. So I appreciate that five dollar super chat. And dude, the the super chats that go to the family, like they they like slightly choke me up, man. I appreciate you caring about my my wife and my son. Like going full time YouTube was scary. Doing this for a living is is at moments awesome. At moments kind of nerve wracking because it's like yo, I make my living from donations and stuff. So. Um, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you for looking out for those guys. Uh, Trevor said, you should get out to Crested Butte once we get the little or a little bit more snow. I would love to film for a day for sure. Dude, I have never been to Crested Butte. So yeah, I want to get out that way for sure. It's a pretty long drive, I think. I got to figure out how far to wait. Wait, it is. I'm sitting on my wallet. It's hurt my butt. How's the neck warmers, Osvaldo? Yes. Uh, where is it? Give me one second. All right. Hel helmet bag. Helmet. 
All right, guys, here we go. I'm a little bummed, but it, it works out. So they cut two of the evolution off. There's, we're missing two. Teespring is like, it's okay. I wish it was a little better. But so here's the face masks. So you throw that on, throw your beanie on. I usually do beanie first, but see, ah, oh, is that sick? What do you guys think? Face masks, let's go. They're thick. I thought they were gonna be thin, but these things are thick and warm. I gave one to Michael and he's like, no way, like a finally a thick face mask. So what do you guys think, is that dope? Then we gotta throw the Outdoor Masters if you need a new pair of goggles. I'm telling you, Outdoor Masters are the way to go. Oh, magnetic lenses, sick lenses. By the way, guys, this is how I gear up. Boom. There it is. So, let me go to this, to see the, got my neck warmer in scenes. I've got mine, do, 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 must be a fat wallet. <laughs> Cheyenne, I wish it was a fat wallet. Love the face mask, so sick. Best goggles in the game. Got myself two pairs. Simon, let's go. Lenses fall off when you slam the or slam the wall. Melissa, that was with, that wasn't with the outdoor mask. She was wearing Giro's, I think she was wearing, and she hit the wall so hard her goggles popped off. Should I do live streams like this? What do you guys think? Eh. <laughs> By the way, so. If anyone wants to know about my stickers on my helmet, I've never really covered it. So we got the Area 51, because this is the park, like, I mean, I love Keystone, I love Area 51. We had our moment. But um, we got, of course, we got the Snowboard Pro Camp, got to support the boy. Tommy, killing it, which is sick. The What a Nice Guy sticker. Now we, we got the Silver Silverton, because we actually went and we went heli boarding, had to represent. This sticker I've had on my helmet since I started snowboarding. It's a Facebook like. Come on. Got the YouTube on because, so I put the YouTube sticker on and, and kids in the maze, like, um, like the maze is what, the, it's the lift line. So when kids in the lift line would be like, are you a YouTuber? I can give them one of my cards. And so that's sick. Board archive sticker, support in the dream, and then the evolution sticker. Woo. Now you guys know about the stickers. Now you guys know that the face masks are thick and awesome. Like I said, it cut off two of the little guys. I'm gonna play with the design, but if you get it and you wear it like I just did, it doesn't matter that they're gone because they would be gone anyways. And then let me show you one more thing. Uh, all right, sorry to step away from my camera. And how we doing in the chat? Everyone good? I know I'm not answering any questions right now and I'm going Rambo mode and just doing whatever, but I want to show you guys the new Insta360. So the Insta360 One X, it's linked in the description. That's the 360 camera that makes the pole disappear. This is their new camera, which, all right. What does that look like to you? That looks like a little session. And then this is just a little box. Well, you take that camera, this camera, or the, boop. So you have the lens, the brain, and then you get the battery. No joke, you're playing Legos right now. So then, boom. So now we have a camera. We have the brain right here, the lens, we have the battery. So let's say we wanna do 360. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the lens, we're then gonna put on the 360 lens and then we're gonna reattach the battery. It's kind of a lot of work. It's a little interesting. I haven't used this camera at all yet. I also have one battery, so I would never film a full vlog on it. Only having one battery, as I also struggle to put it back together as one camera. This is more of a me thing, not a camera thing. 
Come on. Oh, I put the 360. Yeah, see? A me thing, not a camera thing. So there we go. Come on, Jonathan. Ta-da. Now we got a 360 camera, which then, if this was on a pole, the pole would disappear. So this is the camera that does that. This is the new version of it. So we'll take it out and test it. We'll see if it's sick. I don't know if we'll use it. We might wait till use it in Colorado, but I did bring it with me. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, we're jumping back in the chat. I know I have missed so many of you guys talking and everything like that, and I'm really sorry. Um, once again, if you want me to answer your question immediately, drop a super chat. We'll get right to it. Um, we're going to start with Alta is skiers only. Okay, so we can't go to Alta. Good to know. We also can't go to Deer Valley, which is on Icon Pass. So Snowbird it is. Alta, what's with Utah and having two resorts that are skier only? That's so lame. All right, Dustin said, living vicariously through the videos. My toe and my I tore my meniscus on Sunday and 18 days of riding had my goal of 30 days riding season got ended short. Dustin, dude, I'm so sorry you tore your meniscus, dude. That is such a bummer. I I hate to hear that. But you still got 18 days. Like which what a sick season, bro. I hate that it ended early, but um heal up quick, bro. Get back out there and kill it and do that 30 days season you got this dude gotta crush it yeah Cheyenne the face masks are warm like they're thick they're not the super thin like ones like they're quality face masks I was stoked bunch of people saying they gotta get the neck warmer shadow saddle shadow doesn't like loud noises come on Come on, come here. Why don't you come say hi to everybody? Come on. Up, 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 up. Come on, come on. Up, 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 up. Ah, there it is. All right, shh. You're fine. You're fine. Um, Melissa says, I hope that stays together. So, Melissa, the camera gets a little clamp around it. But, yeah, if it wasn't <laughs> clipped together, that camera would go everywhere. Brad said, I wanted an Insta360 One X, but now... Um, I want the R, the one R waterproof like that. Oh, is it? I I didn't even think about the one R being waterproof or not. I gotta look into it. But Brad, dude, stoked that you want the one R now. I haven't. I I personally haven't reviewed, watched any reviews, or done anything with that camera yet. I just got it in the mail. I'm excited to use it. So technically, this is the first of me talking and sharing about the the one R. I hold it when I hold it. It's a quality camera. Like it feels really good. It doesn't feel like a super cheap um, camera. So. I like Insta360. And dude, NGen with the $10 super chat. Let's go, bro. Uh, get some treats for the doggy. Will do. He, uh, he's he been kind of hanging out in the uh, hotel a little bit. So we have like a Kong. We fill it up with the peanut butter stuff so we can like lick it while we're gone. And then also, although, dude, I'm going to get those gold shirts, bro. Don't you worry. I know you're worried because I've been saying I'm going to get them and I haven't done it yet. But... Um, I need to hit Tyler up, and, and I just got to pay for the invoice, and I've just been traveling and busy and not thinking about it. So, Austin said, Snow Basin Sunday, and I can film. Austin, no way, dude. That's a good, that's a possibility. If Michael bails, what pass is Snow Basin on? Because um, that, that, be, that could be a real thing for sure. Noah said, show your glasses. Like my sunglasses? Where are those? Oh, they're right over here. So I'm technically sponsored by Spy. I have like a grassroots program with them. It's not, I only get like, I get 50% off their, like a select bunch of old gear. It's not like the greatest sponsorship ever. But I got these spy glasses right here. The Discord, I think what's what they're called. Um, they're sick. They just pop. I like to get things that are gonna pop on video, so it just they so it pops better. Cream City Skiing said, I wanna get a pair of outdoor masters because they're so or such a sick deal. But I have Giro helmet and only nitro goggles. 
can do true seamless with the helmets. Ah, oh, dude, that's such a bummer. I, I hate when you have like a helmet and a goggle that don't line up. That's the best part about my helmet, my Jiro helmet and those Outdoor Masters is they line up perfect. Show Noah said, show your goggles. Do, 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 do. Where did I even put those? Right there oh, outdoor master so i've used these for a couple hundred days now so the like the straps are kind of getting worn in but the goggles just so you know if you get outdoor mat if you get any goggles eventually the more and more you wear them they kind of form to your face like the foam and stuff so these fit my face really good because the foam's kind of like done all the forming that it needs to do but uh i got right now these are my mid light lenses it was kind of like sunny, kind of cloudy today, so that we rocked those. My highlight lenses, I let Tommy borrow, and Tommy scratched them. I'm like, dude, come on. I let you wear these for half a day. You wore, wore them for three hours. Put a big, gnarly scratch down the middle. So lame. That Tommy guy, I don't know about him. Uh, El Stiger said, any other color on the neck? No, dude, sorry. It's just black neck warmer. So Teespring, the company that makes all my merch, which is like, like the hats are definitely quality. They, they're, they got some limitations for sure. So um, when it came to like, I couldn't even set the price for the face masks. They set the price and it's just, it is what it is. So um, it's a little tricky for sure. Uh, but right now face masks are just black. We're working on um, everything. I'm just one dude. A lot of it's like I can already upload the logo to get white on black hats. Like I have everything I need to do it. I just don't have time. Like I, I try my best to get as much done as possible, humanly as possible, but I'm just one dude and I have a two year old and I have a wife. So if I'm not doing anything with the channel, I'm putting it into my family. If I'm not doing anything with my family, I'm a hundred percent putting stuff into the channel. So I'm either DMing you guys back on Instagram, I'm replying to comments, I'm editing videos, I'm talking to someone about the business. I'm like constantly trying to, to do stuff um, to make this channel better. So uh, bear with me guys, like I, I try my best, I promise. I'm just one dude. Full-time filmer slash editor would change the game. Breezy said what? Um, what day are you planning on going to Afton Alps? Breezy, I don't know for sure. I think it's going to be there like between like March 1st or March 2nd or March 3rd. Like, um, cause we're going to be out February 26th is when we're going to show up to Minnesota. We're not riding that day. The 27th we'll ride Highland. The 28th, I'm pretty sure is the competition that I'm filming. The 29th, I'm doing a Mall of America day with my family. Um, cause Bobby's never been, she's really excited. So then the 30th, the first, the second, third, and possibly the fourth, we'll be snowboarding around, um, trying to hit as many resorts as possible with Benton. <laughs> Shadow settle. Jonathan, dude, sick name. He said, John, I love your vids. I want you to go to Wilmot, uh, Wilmot mountain. It is a terrible resort, but that. That's my local dude. Where's where is Wilmot? And I love terrible lo uh, local resorts. That's my style, dude. Shadow. Hey, come he here and settle. Hey, settle. Shadow doesn't bark other than when he's in a in a house. Settle. Lay down. Good boy. Shine said my Oakleys are pretty good fit on my Giro helmet. They all are seamlessly shaped with my goggles jb wears heck yeah shyan shyan's got shyan's kitted pretty good dude i like your like i like your gear shyan and i like your style wilmot is basically a bunny hill let's go my goal is to go to as, as many lame whatever one hill bunny hill mountains as possible and show you guys how to have a really good time i think that's possible R Star said, don't know hype. R Star, dude, how you been? Welcome to the live stream. Cruising with Positive Vibes says, when are you going to come to Aspen? To, do you need a guide to the spots? Dude, uh, we'll probably need a guide. We're going to ask Snowmass wants to bring us out uh, to make videos. So that's when we'll be out. I got to email them back and be like, yo, like thoughts on the exact dates. 
But they said early March is when they want us to come out. It's becoming a meme. <laughs> uh, Austin said you can ride two days of Snow Basin on the Epic Pass. Austin, let's go. I have, I brought my Epic Pass. It's literally right here. Here's my Icon Pass. Ready, you guys? Boom. This is my Brighton pin. I got all, I got Ski Cooper, or, or sorry, Loveland. And then I got Keystone Breck Copper on this thing. That thing's nuts. Winter Park. Squaw Valley. And then Steamboat. I had another one. I think it fell off. Anyways, I'd be down to do Snow Basin on Sunday. If Michael bails Austin, if Michael doesn't bail, we got to go to an icon mountain. But if he does bail and I need a filmer, Austin, let's go. I think we were talking on Instagram, weren't we? Um, Austin, you'll have to either email me or um, probably email would be the best. It's just Jonathan underscore Buckhouse at yahoo.com. Exactly how my name's spelled on the channel. Um, or it's in the LinkedIn every description. It will be linked in the description of this video. And let's make that happen, dude. I'm, I'm down. Dude, Sean said, thanks for the videos. This old dude's been getting better. Let's go. Like I said, our goal is to help you guys become the best snowboarders possible. Obviously, some days we just go out and we're ripping out fun. But the overall goal of the channel, we want you guys to all be sick. I want everybody to have the most fun snowboarding possible because I know how much fun you can have snowboarding. So I know how much fun I want you guys to have snowboarding. Yeah, Simon, I still have the Sony NEX5. I don't use it for really anything other than taking really nice photos of me and my family right now. Uh, I used to film a lot more on the channel with it, but I kind of kind of just stopped. The GoPros are so sick and so easy to use. No way our star Roman ate a grilled cheese sandwich at Red Robin today. If you have the full Epic, Austin, I do have the full Epic, so I can go anywhere I want with the Epic, or I have no limits with the Epic Pass other than the ones that are given. All right, cruising with Positive Vibes, you're the guide for when we go to Aspen. I'll keep everyone posted on when we're going to be in Aspen. Just so you guys know, everyone that's here, because there's, what, how many people watching? 44 right now. Um... Tomorrow, a Telluride video will post. We're in Utah, but I'm posting a Telluride video tomorrow. It's a really sick video. I'm just super ahead on video, so just so you guys know. Darius said, how do I tempt my first 360? Dude, go watch my How to 360 video. I tried to fight that yawn so hard. Go watch my How to 360 video on my um, how to Become a Better Snowboard playlist or how to snowboard playlist, I think is what it's called. Um, I have a how to 360 video. Go watch that one, man. Um, but um, that, I break down where to start, everything like that. So I could get really into it. But we're going to keep going through some questions. So if you want to want to get better, go check out the how to frontside 360 video on my playlist. Uh, Gollum said, where are you going in Utah? Tomorrow we're going to Snowbird. And then Austin said, go to Snow Basin with him on Sunday if Michael bails on me. If Michael doesn't bail on me, we will be going probably to Solitude on Sunday. And when I say bail, I don't mean in a bad way. Michael's gotta make money. He's a He has his own business and he brought his business out here. So if you wanna get a hot wax, a full tune, anything like that, hit up our boy Michael. If you're in Salt Lake City, he's here and he was ready to tune you guys. Uh, Lowe said, how many snowboards do you use in a season on average? So I use a powder board, I use a park board, and I usually break my park board at least once. So I usually go use three different boards in a season. Uh, Caboose on Deleuze said, are you planning on checking out Woodward Park City? Michael said he wanted to. It'd be really cool, but the, the issue with that is... I go snowboarding all day, and then if I'm going to go skateboard and go there, then I'm bailing on my wife and my kid for even longer. 
So normally I don't get to do secondary events that like like going to like I Woodward Park City would be so sick, but there's a reason why I wouldn't. Does that make sense? Because I don't want to bail on them again. Wilmot is in Illinois. Okay. China is a good chance that'll go down because uh, I've grant my grandparents live in Chicago, so that could happen, dude. Do we have $10 super chat? No way. From Jack, dude. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, bro. You guys have no idea how much these super chats support the dream, especially when we drive all the way to Utah and we spend gas money. I, we had to book a hotel. So all of these super chats support the dream, make these trips possible, guys. So Jack, thank you so much for the $10 super chat, man. Uh, you miss me, my home, or you miss me, the You make me miss my home state of Colorado. First drink or bowl of ramen is one of or is the first drink or bowl of ramen is on me if you uh, decide to do a group shred out here in Japan I'll be situated or stationed here another season dude Jack one I think you're in the military thank you for your service bro stoked that you're in Japan and so you get to ride that sick Japan so if you're out there with the military and it's kind of like being out there for free is that I don't want to say that in like in a in a rude way, but being able to ride Japan is so sick, dude. That's sick that you're out there. Uh, I'm sorry, that, sorry that you missed Colorado, but start to get to give you a piece of home, man. That's so sick. And first drink and bowl of ramen is on you when we go out to Japan next year, dude. Thank you so much for the ten dollars super chat. Sorry, I was kind of clunky with that one, but uh, let's go. Uh, L Stagger said, cannonball that like button. L Stagger, how was Japan, bro? Did you love it? Uh, I love B BMW said, what's your go to meal slash snack if you aren't around restaurants, fast food? Um, me and my wife like to eat salads a lot. So I always joke about eating pizza and things like that. But me and my wife, we do salad a lot and we eat a lot of salmon. She loves salmon, I love salmon. So we'll either do like salmon salad or just salmon and like um, asparagus is a, a meal we do a ton. So and that's at home. And when we're, when we're at home, we try not to eat out really at all because that's very expensive. We try to make our own meals. Um, and she's a really good cook. She makes really good stir fry. She makes uh, spaghetti, which I hate spaghetti, but we eat it because it's cheap. And uh, she makes a really good chicken Alfredo. She makes she makes a bunch of really sick meals. I'm, I'm lucky to have a wife that I get to go ride all day and come home and there's cooked food and like, it's, I'm a lucky dude. Dude, Austin, I do remember I emailed you. So check your email, Austin. Cause I emailed, that's why I, I, I know we had this conversation. So yes, you emailed me about the hotel and yes, I emailed you, but uh, maybe you emailed me back. But yes, Austin, well, I'll email you again about Sunday. Dude, Simon, you edit. So the biggest thing is I, if I, I want whoever's going to help edit the videos would have to go be on the mountain riding with me. So I'm looking the channel what we're ideally looking for. And if you're a kid in high school, this might be the best thing for you. Um, we're looking for someone that can full time film, show up every day, film with us and then edit the videos and the reason why i say you got to be on the mountain is you got to understand the vibe of the day how it all went it's not as easy as just being like oh here's clips and here's a story like i change the videos i move clips around i do so much to tell the best story possible it's all about the story not about really how the day actually went in person sometimes the day didn't go too hot in person but in the editing process it could look like the most amazing day ever that sounds terrible but it's it's entertainment. We're 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 trying to make it look as awesome as possible. So sometimes we lo we left our seat like my ep my icon pass wasn't active today, and so the first thirty minutes of the day were me standing in a line. Like that didn't make the vlog because that that's just meh. We put all the good stuff in there. So we'll definitely well I'm definitely not opposed to having someone help film. It's just it's got to be like the perfect marriage. I'm yelling like crazy, guys. I didn't get much sleep last night though, um, driving out here and everything. So it's a little bit of a grind. We're out here trying our best.
We back. We good. It literally makes no sense to me. I don't understand how we like lose signal and then we get it right back. But we're back. At least it's what it says. I'm trying to watch the video on the camera. Dude, I'm like super delayed on my computer. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, I think we're back. I think we're good to go. Dude, Chopper, how you been, man? Welcome to the live stream. He said, yo, what up, Big G? Still killing him with the real, or with that red hat. That hoodie is fresh, too. Yeah, dude, the, the red logo. I even have a shirt on right now. These I finally was able to order some of these. So, like, yeah, it's just like the red t-shirt. Boom, boom. We're doubling up today. My wardrobe is slowly changing to just Evolution merch, and my wife... She doesn't hate it, but she's like, can you not wear your merch today? And I'm like, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Simon said, you should meet up with Casey. That'd be sick. Casey's in Japan right now, I think. Simon says, fresh Alaskan salmon is amazing. I bet it is. When we go snowboarding in Alaska, we'll have fresh uh, Alaskan salmon. Dude, Arso, you love spaghetti? I think hate spaghetti. It's the one thing on the planet I will never be excited to eat. I hate spaghetti so much. Hey buddy said, hey bro, want to come over to Beaver Mountain tomorrow? Where's Beaver Mountain? Is that in Utah? I know Beaver Creek's in Colorado. Wouldn't be able to pick him out for sure. Okay. Sorry, guys. I was just trying to find a good question to answer. Uh, Simon said, oh, I get it. Yeah, a bit far. We could move out there soon. Fingers crossed. Oh, yeah, Simon. Like, you for you to get out here to help, help edit. But, yeah, so, like, when it comes to editing and someone help filming and all stuff, like, because it's daily, because it's, like, bum, 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 and we film about 60 to 100 gigabytes worth of footage no, we, we probably film like 50 to 60 and on a really good day, about 100 gigabytes of footage a day. It's really hard to ship that footage or like to transfer you 60 gigabytes of footage and then you edit something and then send it back. Like just a lot. Uh, Move said, "Think of uh, what about Canada? Ever think about going to BC? Yeah, all the time, dude. That's gonna happen for sure. How long was the drive? So to Salt Lake City from Summit County was it like seven hours, like to like on the dot? So it wasn't that bad of a drive. Um, when you're doing a drive with a two year old, you gotta do little things to kind of help them out. So like when we got to Grand Junction, which is like three hours into the drive." We went to Chick-fil-A, we let, we let Roman run around for like a hot second, like 40 minutes, let him run around until he felt good. And then we loaded him back up with the car, he fell asleep, and we drove the rest of the way. So um, obviously my, my dog is here too, because we literally decided last second, so we didn't have a dog sitter, so we brought Shadow, uh, who is a service dog. Um, he's such a good dog, other than the barking at the door sometimes. This guy's ID. Um, but uh so shadow's here with us and uh so that made the drive a little trickier when you have a dog you have a kid everything like that but it wasn't it really wasn't that bad we just busted that out i have to scroll like six key keyboards to go between english and emojis lol oh shine what do you have your keyboard set up as shine can speak like two or three languages shine's the man All right, Will, so if, if I go to Solitude on Sunday, I'll see Will. If Michael bails, I'll go to Snow Basin with, uh, with Austin. Dude, Sunday's becoming crazy. I got to remember. I got to write all this down so I don't forget. All right, so if I ever get uh, some spaghetti, he'll eat it. Dude, I'll buy you spaghetti twice, and you can have all of it. 
Ryan said, why are you going to Vermont? That's a great question. So why am I going to the ice coast? Why am I going to where it's not so great? Two reasons. I want to go out there and I want to experience the ice coast. I want to experience um, snowboarding in Vermont. But I want to go to the east coast because so many of you guys have asked me. We have so many subscribers in the east coast. The least I can do is go and try to make content on your mountains. Just because it's not as good as Colorado doesn't mean that going out there and making videos on your mountains can't be cool. Like going out and riding with you guys on the 12th of February if you want to come rip with me at Mount Snow. Like that could be really fun, really sick, and that's worth a trip to me. So um, I, I've ridden really icy snow, like a basin early season in uh what when do they open so, da, 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 da. october september october like early season colorado like that's icy that's not great like that has all the same recipes and super late in the season as of like really hard icy crappy snow like i really feel like i have had my share of bad snow and like we're going to vermont in february so the snow should be decent and they build a sick park and I know I, it's going to be sick. So everyone that's keeps trying to tell me that it's going to suck. I don't know. We'll find out. I think it's going to be sick. Oh, Beaver Mountain is in Northern Utah by Logan. Yeah, we won't be making it to Beaver Mountain. That's because like I said, we're in Salt Lake City right now, which is near so many resorts. It's so sick. Texted, where do you get your magnetic goggles? What type uh, of spare goggles do you have? So I just have a bunch of those magnetic outdoor masters. I'm sponsored by Outdoor Master. I ride for them. I'm one of their professional riders. So they're sick, not just because I ride for them, but I love the goggles. I have over 300 days with this single pair. This is a $40 pair of goggles that has over 300 days of being used on it. I have a bunch of lenses, magnetic, super quick. They're linked in the description. $40 goggles, $30 lenses. You can get a high light, mid light, low light setup, a pair of goggles for less than you would spend on a high end pair of goggles. And they're going to work just as good. I ride these every day. They're amazing. Um, they're going to be in the description linked. They're linked in every single video, Outdoor Master Goggles. Um, all of my gear, helmet, t-shirt, hel uh, uh, hoodies, jackets, pants, boots, snowboards all of my gear is linked in the description of every video in this live stream it's not linked yet i will get that linked but um yeah all my gear is linked down below simon said you gotta go to alaska it's awesome we were up there this year uh my sister lives there dude simon that's so sick uh bobby wants to go to alaska bad um, Alaska, I, I don't even know what to expect from Alaska. You just hear stories and you do, you just know it's like, it could be incredible. So I, I want to get to Alaska for sure. Xander dude, what's up, man? So tech, my spare lenses, I don't want to dig through them all, but I have like clear lenses. I have the light blue low lights. I have the light yellow low lights. My highlights are the green and green and gold ones um and then i have a bunch of like the black lenses but i kind of over the black i wrote black lenses for the longest time and i i kind of like all the colored lenses right now they definitely pop more for the youtube channel too Cheyenne speaks russian spanish japanese and arabic Cheyenne, you're an animal dude that's so many languages Simon said, when I come up to Colorado, I'll bring my drone, uh, FPS first person view. I've always wanted to chase someone. Dude, Simon, let's go. We can go on Loveland Pass. I have a drone, but I don't have a first person view, like speed drone, like you're talking about. That will be sick. Tygos, uh, or Tygos here. What's up, man? How you doing? Care for the, the game said, 
Hey, what's up? I'm new to the channel, dude. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for hitting subscribe, join Team Huckhouse. He says, I'm new at snowboarding this year and already practicing my 360s off jumps. Dude, you're crushing it. I have a how to 360 video if you have some tips. Since you're new to snowboarding, check out my how to, or how to snowboard playlist. It will help you out a bunch. I got a ton of cool how-to videos on how to be better at snowboarding, like how to 180 off a box, how to hit a rail, how to hit a tube, how to hit a box, how to board slide, like a ton of really awesome videos on snowboarding. So check it out, man. Yeah, Melissa says, I'm pretty sure Bobby wants a different version of Alaska. We want snow. She wants like winter there or when it like winter there. Yeah, Bobby would want like summer Alaska. I want like full blown winter Alaska. So Mike said, homie, I just po uh, posted a video recently saying, let me know what you when you're coming to Brighton. Mike, dude, I'm sorry, dude. We went today last second like. My wife was like, let's go. And I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue. You say, let's go. I say, let's go. Simon said, Alaska is the best place I've ever been to. The people are so nice and their mountains are sick. Dude, I can't wait to see Alaska. China, uh, Simon says, I speak English and English. <laughs> Dude, r -Star, you speak German. Let's go. That's sick. Dude, Texas, I speak Dutch, English, German, French, and a little bit of Italian. Dude, that's so cool. It'd be really sick to speak another language. It takes a lot of work. I know that. Like, once you learn it, you're good to go. Well, you kind of kind of stay fresh on it. I just don't have the time currently to put into learning something like that. Alaska will knock your socks off. No one can understand my English. I got no chance, <laughs> Chuck. Let's go. Go to Snow Basin while you're in Utah. All right, Dax. We're talking about Snow Basin on Sunday if Michael the Ski Dog bails out of here. He's got to get some jobs. So if you're in Salt Lake City, hit up Michael the Ski Dog for hot wax, full tune, literally anything you need on your skis or snowboards, hit up Michael. His stuff is in the description. He was here at, at the beginning of the live stream, uh, but he has some family in Salt Lake too that he went to go hang out with, so can't blame the guy. Are you, plan, plan, bleh, are you planning on a collab when in Vermont? Thigo, I'm not planning on a collab, but I'm planning on riding with you guys on February 12th. Mount Snow, if anyone wants to rip with me, we can meet up and rip. Ooh, I didn't even think about Powder Mountain um, for Sunday. I, I would definitely go with Austin to Snowbird or Snow Basin because uh, we're going to Snowbird tomorrow. Uh, so if Michael leaves, we'll go to Snow Basin with Austin. Uh, but dude, there's a lot of resorts out here we got to hit. We got to hit them all. Jack is signing off, dude. Thank you so much for the super chats, bro, and support in the dream. Uh, Kellen, hi, how are you? Is uh, Rub on Wax good? Rub on Wax is good if you need, to, need an emergency. I would not say it's good as in you should use it. Like, hot wax is the way to go. Dude, care for the game said, oh my God, thank you. I wish, or uh, I will watch those videos and support your channel. Dude, thank you so much for the support, bro. And hopefully grow and get better at snowboarding. Dude, you got it. If you have the, if you have the want, you can get better for sure. Even today I was trying some new tricks. I'm just like jumping some big rocks. Like every day I go snowboarding, I try to get better. And it's so addicting. Like I love it so much. Like I wish I could explain to you guys how much I love snowboarding. And it's not just because it's like, oh, snowboarding's fun. It's like, no, like I get to push myself as a person. Uh, I get, I have a, I'm growing a business through it. Like there's so much about snowboarding and everything that surrounds it that like I, I love so much about snowboarding. Where, uh, where is your favorite place to snowboard, Alan? I haven't found it yet. I think all of them are awesome. 
Uh, you have got to come down to Pennsylvania. Dude, my goal is to ride every resort in the United States at least once eventually. So we'll work on it. We'll get to Pennsylvania. We, only, we can only go to so many in, in a season, so. What size jumps are your favorite? Small, medium, large, etc. Logan, that's a great question. I don't know if you've ever been to Copper. They have their medium line or like Brex first, one, two, three. Those are my favorite size jumps. The, the, the third one's usually big enough to make me kind of be like, ah, and the first one's like, oh, I'm super confident I can throw whatever I want. So I would say like a medium line would be my favorite. Large lines, I'm like, I'm okay with. I'm not too stoked on them. And then pro line, I just straight air and they're usually lame and hard to film and everything like that. That's why you haven't really seen me hit pro line. But we'll hit pro line this year. I mean, today I did jumps by myself, which I never like. New jumps that were pretty big by myself is never my favorite thing. Jumps don't come easy for me. Like I have to work hard to get good at a jump line to get my rotations and everything like that. Um, and then when the video that's posting tomorrow, I'm hitting a, like a small line. I, I was hitting a large jump line. I was only hitting the first jump of the large jump line. Uh, then I was hitting a small jump line. And on the small jump line, I was working on my rotation so hard. I'm trying to get better at jumps. We need my boy Benton to, to help out with the jumps. Dude, drop in a $2 super chat. Benton, welcome to the live stream. He said I'm late. Um, or sorry I'm late. What up? What up, Benton? Welcome to the party. We're actually about to jump off this live stream. I got to send Benton an Instagram photo. He, need, he, need, he ran out of content and needs an Instagram photo for his Instagram. Which if you're not following Benton on Instagram, hit the boy up. Uh, care for the game, dude. I am going to Minnesota. I'll be in Minnesota February 26th through March 4th. Dude, Jack said the heli videos were so sick. Melissa's in this chat. Say thank you to Melissa. She's the only reason why we got to do those heli videos. They were so sick. They came out great. She got so many of the shots, by the way. So many of the B-roll shots. B-roll shots were from Melissa. So she crushed it. She was amazing. She rolled around the camera the whole time. She got some insane shots. We put a bunch of Melissa in the videos, but she, we might make a, let me know what you guys think. I might make a Melissa heli skiing, like, I got to talk to Melissa about that, see if she's fine with it. But all of her sick clips, and it's just an edit of Melissa riding the helicopter, because she rode a bunch, uh, and she crushed it, and we're super thankful that she even brought us along. And don't listen to what she said. She said, don't thank me. It's all Jonathan. No, thank Melissa. It was a ton of Melissa why we got to go rip those helicopters. That was that was so fun and that was a life goal of mine. Like to knock that off the to-do list is so sick. Dude, Peachy, man, how you been? Thanks for jumping on the live stream and thank you for dropping a five dollar super chat, bro. You're so sick. What up at work? Uh got to stream late. Shout out to the Melissa for all this the awesome footage. Dude, she crushed the live or the helicopter days. Dude, she's only been snowboarding for one year, and she went heliboarding and crushed it. But, uh, dude, thank you for joining the live stream. Thanks for the $5 super chat, bro. That goes further than you know, man. I appreciate it. Airline said, uh, so glad I ran into your channel. Watching you and Benton kill it in the parks gets me hyped to get out on the hill as as much as possible let's go dude i'm stoked that you love seeing this rip around i'm excited for when we go to aspen snow mass because they want us to come out and ride park and i was like well if i gotta go to a new resort and make park videos there's one dude i'm bringing and that's benton because that dude can backflip any jump first try so we're bringing out benton and he's gonna rip it for us Oh, I got the yawn. I did not get much sleep last night. Uh, Care for the Game said, will you be in Welch Village when you come to Minnesota? Benton, are we going to be in Welch Village when we go to Minnesota? Benton is my guide in Minnesota. He, he's ridden all the resorts out there. I haven't. Dude, CJ said, what up, bro? I saw you at Keystone. Dude, CJ, that must have been forever ago because I haven't been to Keystone in a hot minute. That might be why Bobby was like, yo, let's go to Park City because we were supposed to ride Keystone uh, yesterday. And she was like, if you don't go riding today, we'll go right to Park City. And I'm like, what? Okay. 
All right, Benton said no. Highland, Spirit, Troll, Wild, and Afton. Those are all the resorts we're riding in Minnesota. So I'll say them again. So in Minnesota, we will be riding Highland, Spirit, Troll, Wild, and Afton. Thanks, Benton. Benton is, once again, the guy. We're also going to be riding um, behind horses and hitting a big old jump like we did last year. Does YouTube trans language or other languages for you peachy no youtube does not translate other languages for me so um so I, I don't even know your name the guy with the pink pink little person i wish i could answer your question from japan so sick i hope you have a sixth season in japan i don't know what you're asking though just because youtube doesn't translate it for me man but uh, I hope you're having a ton of fun in uh, Japan ripping snow. You guys are finally getting snow, I'm pretty sure. And it says, back on the live, you're going for a long time. It's because Bobby and Roman went to Target and they haven't come back yet. So we're still going. Um, I'll follow said, when are you going to Keystone again? Uh, we'll probably go to Keystone right before we head to Tahoe. Um I, I took a good break from Keystone because they weren't very happy with me and my videos, um, even though I didn't do anything wrong. So, uh, but I, and then a lot of people were angry and being like, man, boycott Keystone and all that stuff. And I didn't want to make anybody upset. And I was like, there's a ton of mountains I can ride. I can avoid Keystone for a little bit. Well, of course, we'll go back because that's my, I mean, I got a Keystone sticker on my helmet. Um, so, yeah, we'll get back out there. Cheyenne said, phone died, had to jump on the laptop. Let's go, Cheyenne. Jonathan, dude, sick name. Uh, I don't know if it's the same Jonathan, but every time I see the name Jonathan, I'm like, yo, dude, sick name. Uh, recently bought a snow, or bought, recently bought a snowboard. Uh, have you ever heard of Burton Custom with metal engraved plat, placu, placu, plaque, plaque, plaque? I thrifted it from a cheap and it was wondering your thoughts. I know the Burton Customs of B Snowboard Bro with metal engraved plaque. I don't know what the metal engraved plaque does for the snowboard, but I know people love the Burton Customs, so you didn't get a bad snowboard at all. You planning on coming back to Highland? Yeah, Sam, we are planning on going back to Highland. Todd said, if you go to Japan, check out Suga Sh Shiga Kogan. Biggest ski area out there. Okay, that'd be sick. All right, guys. Looks like we're catching up on the chat. I think we're doing good. Dude, Shion dropping the Japanese back to um, our friend that's from in J uh, Japan, dude. So sick. I really wish I knew what you were saying, but uh, Shion, Shion's got the communication go going. He says, uh, I'll hop on for a bit. Uh, did you buy an automatic hatch keep great conditions? I might be at the prefer. Yeah, guys, so we're going to jump off. I'm kind of tired, but I got to edit late into the night. I got to get two videos edited tonight because um, we have so much footage. I have so much content we're ahead on. We're like four days ahead right now, something like that. So I got to get editing. Um, these live streams are nice because I get to take a break and kind of catch up. So I got the Telluride video that's posting tomorrow edited. And I'm going to try and get two more videos edited tonight. Uh, get ahead and maybe I might be able to take a full day off where I don't edit and I don't ride. I actually just get to sleep. It'd be nice to catch up on some sleep. Which you can actually do. You can actually catch up on sleep if you fall behind on sleep. Uh, care for the game. Said, I want to buy merch. I got to get a job. Heck yeah. Guys, thank you to everyone that has bought the merch. I showed the face masks earlier. So if you missed that, go back and check out the face masks. They're sick. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much for the super chats, guys. That supports the dream. Um, you guys are all so awesome. All supporting the dream. Grabbing stickers. Dropping donations. The Patreon page. All my Patreon supporters. Justin, Shy, and Paul. Melissa, Brian, Dustin, and Justin, guys, thank you so much for the love and support. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's family time now, so uh, Bobby and Roman will get home anytime soon, and I want to be ready for them. So thank you so much for all the love and support, guys, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for talking with me, and as always, I, I, I'm so bad. I, I got it dialed for snowboarding. I don't have the outro dialed for anything else. Have a good night, guys. You're all awesome. Let's go.